a Trendelenburg walking pattern. Some people call this the model walk. And spoiler alert, there is a 90% chance it's not due to hip weakness. Now we're gonna go into a Trendelenburg walking pattern. So for those of you that aren't familiar with that term, that is when one hip drops when you walk. After a neurologic injury, this is pretty common for the non-affected hip to drop. So when you're standing on your affected leg and you're trying to swing your other leg through, you get this little drop right here. And most people have heard, because this is the most common reason in the non-neurologic world, that it's due to hip weakness. And there's a small percentage of you after a stroke that yes, if you strengthen your abductors, which is many, what many of you have been told to do, or do that monster walking, that will help. But it does, it is helpful to understand what are the potential root causes outside of just hip weakness that are probably more likely after a neurologic injury. 